So you've heard about Binance and you want to get involved. You want to learn how to buy these coins, these altcoins, these cryptocurrencies. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to buy cryptocurrency on Binance. What's up? I'm Brandon Young. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Be sure to go subscribe because on this channel, I teach you how to make multiple streams of income, baby. So go subscribe. So cryptocurrency has been all around the news and a lot of people want to get involved. They want to buy a certain amount of coins. So I thought I'd make a video showing you how. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to go to some type of exchange such as GDAX Coinbase and you want to buy your Bitcoin. Now if you have not done this step and you want to get involved with Coinbase, my link is in the description. Now you can go and press that. It's going to give you two ten dollars worth of Bitcoin. It's going to give me ten dollars worth of Bitcoin. We all win here. So go and press that link and get started. First thing you want to do, we're going to go right through this quickly. You're going to go to buy and sell once you go and get yourself signed up. And you would go and buy your Bitcoin. You can also use um, Ethereum and you can use Binance coin and you can use tether to actually buy the different cryptocurrencies on Binance so keep that in mind but on coinbase they only have Bitcoin and Ethereum so you can buy one of those too now Ethereum is pretty much faster so if you want to use Ethereum I would go with that because it's cheaper and it's a bit faster things get through a bit quicker with Ethereum so go for it but if you're a Bitcoin type of person go ahead and buy that Bitcoin now after you have accumulated the Bitcoin or Ethereum you're gonna head over to accounts now basically what this is is your wallet where your Bitcoin stays unless you transfer it out to a second account or a second wallet maybe a desktop wallet or an app on your phone but unless you do that it will stay here now the next thing we want to do is we want to go to Binance. So we're going to head over to Binance. Now if you haven't gotten started with Binance, you want to go and get started, go look in the description. My link is right there. Go and click that, get that yourself started with Binance. Setup is really quick, easy, takes no more than a minute because there's no verification process, which I love about Binance. Once you get yourself situated, get your account, next thing you want to do is you want to go to your funds and you want to press deposits and withdrawals. Now what this is going to do, since you're new, it's going to pretty much be um, empty because you don't have any assets in there. But for me, as you can see, I have a couple stuff in there. Next thing you want to do, depending on which cryptocurrency you bought, so remember you can only trade with four of the cryptocurrencies, so it's tether binance coin um bitcoin and ethereum those are the only four i think you can use to buy your other cryptocurrencies so if you have bitcoin or ethereum you would come to this search box right here and if you're using btc you can type bitcoin or btc it'll come up and then you would scroll all over to the right and you would press deposit which that is going to do is going to give you a deposit address. You're going to copy paste that into your Coinbase account. So remember, this is the same process if you were doing Ethereum, or Binance Coin or Tether, same exact process. Then you would head back over to Bitcoin Wallet. And now when you look at your Bitcoin Wallet or Ethereum Wallet, there will be a small button under there that says send. When you press that button, it will give you a box and it will say recipient. All you want to do is you want to paste that address that we just got from Binance in there. And you want to put your amount of Bitcoin that you're sending over to Binance and you press send. Now, I've been having a lot of people say that it takes, they haven't been getting it immediately. And don't worry because if you use Bitcoin, it's going to be pretty slow because Bitcoin is a slow coin it does take a long time for things to get through so maybe around four to seven hours you should see your deposit to get into your Binance account might be faster might be slower don't quote me on it but that's the average amount of time that it takes so if you're using Ethereum it'd be the same thing you would copy that address from your Binance and then you would paste it in your Ethereum wallet on Coinbase now 
the last and final step, what you came here for, you want to buy the cryptocurrency. So what you want to do is you want to head over to exchange at the top left and press basic because we don't know nothing about no advanced stuff yet. And now in order to determine if your coin that you're actually trying to purchase is on Binance, what I do is I go to coin market cap and I actually search to see if the coin is in that particular market. So let's say we're looking for Verge. So we type in Verge, which the ticker name is XVG. We have to remember that. We'll press that. You'll scroll down and you'll see charts, markets, social tools. You'll press markets. And as you can see, Verge has went down a bit. And as you scroll down, you'll see all the markets it's in. So it's in Binance. As you can buy it on Binance with Bitcoin, you can buy it on Binance with Ethereum. Um, that's basically the only two it says you can buy it with. So we can determine that it's on Binance. So we go back to Binance and we press X. We type in XVG. Also up here. These are the cryptocurrencies that you can buy your other cryptocurrencies with. So as I said, BTC, Ethereum, um, Bitnance Coin, and Tether. You want to make sure whatever corresponding cryptocurrency you're trying to buy the other cryptocurrencies with, that box is ticked off or the, the square is like orange. So since we're using BTC, you want to make sure that box is orange for BTC. Now, the last and final step, you're going to put in your ticker. So we're using XVG for Verge. So we're gonna type in XVG. And as you can see, it comes up right there. we we'll press that. Now the last and final thing, you scroll down, you press the limit. Now this is the current price for a Verge coin. So what you wanna do is, depending on what's in your BTC account, you can actually use the 25%, the 50%, 75%, 100%. Basically what that is, is if you press 25%, you'll use 25% of your Bitcoin balance to buy how much Verge you're trying to buy. So you can press 25, but I don't have enough BTC to actually buy 25%. You can also type the amount of Verge you want to buy. So if you want to buy a thousand Verge, it will tell you how much Verge that Verge would cost. And then you could buy it that way. Or you can tally up the Bitcoin current price and how much is in your balance, see how much it corresponds to USD and determine how much you're actually trying to spend and you can put that in the um, BTC total. But after you have done that, you've determined how much cryptocurrency you want to buy or how much Bitcoin you want to actually use to buy that cryptocurrency, all you got to do is press buy and congratulations, you bought yourself some cryptocurrency on Binance. Now, if that video was helpful to you, let's get this video to 35 likes. Not asking for too much. 35 likes, it helps me out a lot. Be sure to go and subscribe to my channel for more useful information like this. And until next time, go make your multiple streams of income, baby. See you in the next video. Peace.